good morning one and all today's topic i am going to talk about is alcohol content determination in asava and arista uh, it is dr padma m parak department of pharmacognosy oxford college of pharmacy the learning objective for this topic is we'll be knowing why alcohol content is determined and we will learn how to determine the alcohol content what is the method available for determination now why alcohol content is to be determined in ashava and arista because as we all know that ashava and arista are the preparation which have self generated alcohol in them they differ only in the method of preparation so in ashava and arista we mix the medicinal herbal drug with sugar jaggery or candy syrup and keep for fermentation so alcohol gets generated and that alcohol will act as a preservative as well as it will extract the phyto constituent present in that particular herbal drug so the difference in ashava is arista is ashava we add crude drug whereas in arista we add decoction or kashaya kashaya is prepared by boiling the herbal drug in water for 15 to 20 minutes and then filter it again boil the drug for second time with same amount of water filter and keep that preparation that is called as kashaya or decoction now what is the reflection point let us see how the alcohol is expressed what could be the method of determination of alcohol content so please pause and write what could be the method of preparation yeah hope you have written now let us go to the how alcohol is expressed alcohol content is expressed in volume and volume where it is the number of volume of ethanol in 100 volume of liquid at 24.9 degree centigrade and 25.1 degree centigrade that is the definition and it can be expressed as v by w that is volume by weight so which is defined as number of weight of ethanol in 100 weight of liquid at 24.9 degree centigrade to 25.1 degree centigrade now let us how what is the methods available for determination there are two methods available one is liquid gas liquid chromatography method and second method is the specific gravity method now coming to specific gravity method because this doesn't require much uh, uh, instrumentation it can be done very easily in the college level when we talk about glc we should have a chromatographic gas chromatographic unit with us but a simple technique which can be determine the we can determine the alcohol content by simple technique of specific gravity method so uh, how can we do this so we can do the specific gravity method from the specific gravity of alcohol and water so we know that specific gravity of pure alcohol is 0.7899 and specific gravity of water is 1 so whatever preparation we take the specific gravity will be between 0.7899 and between 1 since alcohol is there definitely the specific gravity cannot be 1 so the specific gravity has to be less than 1 uh, and not more than 0.7899 so mostly ashava and arista are known to contain 12 percentage of alcohol so the per value will lie between uh, less than 1 and le uh, less than 0.7899 so we can uh, as per ip method this is one of the ip method in which the alcohol content is determined with a instrument so we will be determine so specific gravity of our solution or the sample should be between 0.7899 to 0.99 uh, 0.9 or we can say within 1 now when we are talking about alcohol content if the alcohol content preparation has got a volatile substance then there is a different method of determination for the alcohol content so first let us talk about in the absence of volatile substance in the herbal drug when the formulation is ready so first we will take the 100 ml of the sample for whom which we want to determine the alcohol content then we will wash with 50 ml of water 
and then we'll add few milk powder to the sample and then we will be neutralizing it with sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide neutralization is an important step we will be neutralizing so for practical purpose what we will do we will take this whole 150 ml from that we will take an aliquot of around 10 ml we'll add sodium hydroxide and we'll neutralize with phenolphthalein so we will be adding uh, phenolphthalein as an indicator so light pink color should come so then uh, we add calculated amount of uh, so sodium hydroxide needed for the 150 ml because we have taken only 10 ml and we found out how much ml of sodium hydroxide is needed so we will calculate for 150 ml how much sodium hydroxide is needed that will be added and then we will transfer this into a connecting uh, distillation unit and then we will collect around distill and collect around 90 ml and then we will determine the specific gravity it will vaporize us and then it will condense and it will fall into this volumetric flask which we have uh, kept so we have to color collect around uh, 90 ml and then we have to make it to 100 ml with water make up to 100 ml so that means we'll be adding 10 ml of the water and then we will determine the specific gravity so this is the specific gravity bottle which is available and it, this is used to determine the viscosity or density per ml weight per ml we can determine so we will be taking the empty specific gravity bottle uh, the formula for calculation i'll show you later and uh, we'll be adding the first with water we will measure and then we will add whatever distillate is collected that we will add and then we will measure we will weight, take the weight of the specific gravity bottle if there is a volatile substance present in the herbal drug which is present in the uh, Ashava Arista, then there is a slight difference in the method. So let us see what is the method available. So we will be taking the 100 ml of the sample. We are not taking into the volume uh, conical flask, into the round bottom flask. We will be taking this into a separating funnel and we will add 25 ml of water and then we will be adding sufficient quantity of sodium chloride to saturate that means to the solution we will be adding sodium chloride slightly swirl with a so that uh, saturation level is when when sodium chloride small quantity gets retained up to that we will be adding sodium chloride then we will be adding 100 ml of light petroleum and then will shake it well and leave it aside and we will be collecting the aqueous layer again to the organic layer we will be adding so uh, we'll be adding sodium chloride solution and uh, light petroleum and then we'll repeat this process once again and we will collect the combined layer that will make slightly alkaline with sodium hydroxide and then we will make up to 100 ml with water then we will distill with the same distillation apparatus we assembly we will use and we will distill and collect the 90 ml of the distillate and then we will be determining the uh, specific gravity of this uh, some uh, distillate which is correct so now let us see how what is the formula to collect uh, calculate the specific gravity so as i said the specific gravity of alcohol can be determined as w3 minus w1 divided by w2 minus w1 so let us see what is w1 w1 is the weight of empty specific gravity bottle w2 is the weight of specific gravity bottle with uh, alcohol and w2 is the weight of specific gravity bottle and the water so by this formula we can will get a value and the standard values are given in the table in the IP from 1 to 25 up to 25 per percent of alcohol what is the specific gravity is given so from that they will give if this uh, specific gravity table we can calculate what is the percentage of alcohol directly so this is how we will calculate the specific gravity of alcohol and from the value we from and we will interpret that value from the, the standard values which are given in IP and we can determine the alcohol content present in the given sample hope uh, uh, you have understood how we do this method very simple method not much uh, ex uh, excessive care uh, instruments are needed we can do in a very simple manner in a very short time we can complete this process we can determine it is not only the alcohol content determination in Ashwa and Arista we can determine in any formulation which contains alcohol uh, hope the procedure and methods are very clear thank you and any doubts you can get clarified.
very much.